Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome back for another From the Collection Fridays. A series where I take something from my collection and show it to you, my viewers. And this week it is my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You're going to have to bear with me on this. I believe it's Usagi Yohimbo. Or it could be Usagi Yojimbo. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's Yohimbo. Um... Regardless, if you know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you've probably seen this guy before. And if you know comics, then you have undoubtedly seen this character before. Uh, he was created by, I believe his name is Stan, Stan Sakai, um, who was a Japanese-American, or is a Japanese-American, I should say, um, because he hasn't passed away. Uh, who wrote a series about a wandering samurai um, rabbit, who is this guy. Um, I grew up reading the comics uh, because of my oldest brother. Um, he bought one home from our then local library, and I sort of looked at it and I thought, oh, wow, I like this. Uh, and then all throughout my life I've been reading the, the books on... You know, I spent ages trying to get this figure. Like, to say I spent years looking for this figure is not an understatement because that's actually what happened. Um, I have always wanted one since I was a kid. I've never been able to find one. And then a couple of weeks ago, I went into a farmer's store and uh, sitting there in its clearance area was this guy. So I managed to pick him up for about $6, uh, and I couldn't be more happier with that. Um, I'll give you a spin of him. It, it, I've posed him with both of his swords out, but you can see that he does have the, um, the scabbards for them, or sheaths. Um, so you can have them sheathed. It's just he kind of looks a little weird with them because I think they should actually be mounted slightly lower, um, like sort of closer to his hip. And then, um, you know, they should be easier to draw from. Um, so I'll zoom in. Hopefully it keeps the focus. So you can see already the articulation at, at the knees now. I realise that it's sort of a bit messy, but it's quite good articulation really. Other than that serial number on the back, um, you know, they're pretty uniform. Whoops. Well, he slips over, but he gets saved by those sheets. You can see where um, the holes in the bottom of the feet are there for standing on a base. And I was about to say, you know, they did a really nice job of like sculpting the, um, I don't know what they call them in Japan, but to us they'd be like jandals or sandals. I would more say sandals because, you know, jandals are those things that you take down to the beach and you definitely wouldn't really want to go to the beach in these. Uh, so I'll just pull them up, I'll zoom, zoom back in. So you can see the sculpt of the face there. Um, Accidentally hitting the camera lens with one of the swords. Um, you can see the top knot he's got with his ears there. I believe in like the 80s, early 90s version of this, the top knot was coloured. Like his entire outfit was differently done there. Um, but you, you can see, you know, like the detailing they put into the belts and into his top. Um, articulation wise, he's pretty good. Um, like, I haven't played with him a lot, because obviously I don't play with these things much. I just sort of pose them to look cool and all of that. Um, the hands are permanently in that sort of holding position sort of thing, but there's, you know, good elbow articulation. There's swivel and, uh, you know, a bit of back and a lot of forward. So he gets pretty good poses there. Same thing with the shoulder, you know. Full, full rotation there on both sides. Uh, I'll pull one of the swords out. So you can see that the swords are, they're not curved. Um, they're actually pretty straight. There might be like a slight curve in them and they just sort of 
quite easily slot into the side there if we pull up his arm you can see that they've put detailing down um, on the sheaths themselves and as for his hips you know he's got it's probably a horrible way that it's like look at this rabbit's ass um, you can see the kind of hinges that they've got there so you know he's got pretty good articulation you know you could have him doing that sort of full side on pose thing if you want not that I would really recommend that and the feet themselves do actually swivel too so you've got 360 degree swivel on them um, I tried to pose them in sort of like a, an action type pose sort of thing um, so he stands fairly well um, other than that slip before he hasn't really slipped over any other times now you can see, that, you know, like they did a nice job on his face. If I can get this to focus on his face. There we go. So he's got that kind of scowl look. Um, which I think was pretty common for him in the books too. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.